It's really good because you get this feeling that you've done something. I always had it in mind to do rappling once and now I did it on something like this big. It was really, really, so that was my Eureka moment. It's amazing, that feeling. You can't get it anywhere else. चलो चले आसमां को छूले बादलों से कूदे पानी पवन परिंदों का शोर उठो चलो अब हो गई भो कभी आहिस्ता कभी तेज कभी ऊपर कभी नीचे ये जंगल का दंगल है या सिंधगी so it was like, oh, what's happened, what's happened, everything was turned around. But then after some few steps, I got used to it and got the hang of it and I was going through real fun. Viewed from a child's perspective, I think a classic Eureka moment has three parts. So you look at a challenge and feel fearful. Then finally, you take a plunge, either on your own or with someone's help. And you're totally in the on that rock face or in chasing that butterfly or in crossing a river yeah. or learning to cycle the first time and finally the feeling of exhilaration oh my god it's me who did this the outdoors provides a backdrop and an activity provides a backdrop but in true meaning what Eureka is doing is using those backdrops to give them tools which they can take back into their other life Let's rock the rocks and tame the stream. Now's the time to live your dream. Hum de ke jide kahi, raaste ban jaye bahi. Around every bend, I find a friend. We sing. Our program is designed in such a way that the challenge increases every day. So every day they don't come back to camp feeling like they've done the same thing. They know they've done a little more than before. And that doing more is what makes them more confident because they know that today I did something more than yesterday and tomorrow I'll do something more than today. Which means that I have the ability to do more every day. What helps this happen on the camp is ensuring that children have a success experience and not just have a success experience but are able to see that they have succeeded at things however small or big they might be and built on those experiences how you make it relevant for the child so what is the relevance of getting off the cliff for the first time in my life Beautiful. through conversations through discussions through sharing as you're walking i never thought i could uh, pitch a tent by my own, by my own, completely by my own. And most Sleep important, taking 10 kg of a rucksack, climbing 15 kilometers yeah. uphill. Imagine. And I've done it. Okay. Get it around. Children learn a lot of like, skills. Some of them are the technical skills, like uh, how to climb, how to maintain their body balance on a rock, how to tie a particular knot. Some skills are again this, which are uh, subjective, like life skills. So the confidence and uh, how to deal, how to work in a team, how to deal with the with the challenge. When you're in the water together and everyone is just trying to get across as fast like together, and it really builds up the unity and bonding between everyone. One, two, three. We just realize that we can actually trust the people yeah. in our group, which we probably didn't know that well before we started that exercise. <laughs> Here you play and you know learn something from the game and learn to adjust and 
Learn really important learnings for your life. It's much better than school. And I like it more than home also. There's lots of freedom. On my own. Exploring the unknown. Hugging the cliff. Riding the breeze. Just try and stop me as I swim the sea. Sam sam chalo, panaram chalo. Jaisa dil kare. Instructors love the children rather than the children loving. That's uh, a prerequisite for being on the program. As a team, when we sit down to think through this process, uh, I think the first thing we go ahead is think like a child. Each step, what can happen, what can't happen, and if it does happen, what will we do about it? Here, the teaching part is their passion. Like they love teaching people out of their experience and all. One right. Why don't you just remember? They try to teach things at your own level. They try to be your friends rather than their, your mentors. They have an eye on you all the time. Like you, you know, you think they don't know anything about you. Well, the instructors yeah, somehow they know everything. And I also really enjoy like the safety when I was climbing. I knew that I was safe because of my teachers. Our main focus is safety. While the activity is being conducted, we have experts, the leaders there. They'll set everything up. They'll try it first themselves. They'll check everything. Every child will be checked before they do the activity. Right from the word go, we kept getting our regular messages. If there was a storm, we were informed about it. We were told that yes, there's a storm, but a child is safe. And uh, I had to be patient and I had to wait for 10 days before my son came back and confirmed all of that. The smile on his face, I think the fact that he wanted to spend that extra half an hour on the railway platform, he wanted to be there longer. I think that spoke for itself. <laughs> These islands of competence are ultimately what build our sense of self and esteem and if children get it in their pre-adolescent years and adolescent years, it's the greatest gift we can give them. Fear of heights, I had a bit, it's gone. Fear of the cold water, in Tirthan, it's gone. So it's really achievement, feeling of achievement. Before I was just like a coward but now I am really brave, I can do anything. It changes I can to I will. It's unforgettable. It's the fun is just unbelievable. It's nothing like it. You don't get it anywhere else. Lifetime experience, I must say.